Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kylie and I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little boys. And in today's video, I have another TJ Maxx and Kohl's and a little bit of a Walmart haul. I got quite a few fall decor items from TJ Maxx. A little bit, you know, of new clothes for the boys and actually one thing for myself from Kohl's. And then a couple like random things from Walmart. So let's go ahead and get started with this haul. So first, I will start with TJ Maxx. The first thing I got from there is this little, like, riser. Um, I got it for $12.99, and I've been looking for one about this size because I have a, like, succulent over in our big, like, bay window in our dining room that my aunt got me, like, for a move-in present. And the, this whole time, like, so since March, since I've had it, um, it's just been sitting on like a paper plate, which is obviously not that cute. So I've been looking for one and I just could not find one that I liked, but I finally found one. It's very heavy and I did already sit it on it and it's like the perfect size. I could almost even sit like maybe like another like baby succulent with it, but, but yeah. So I'm going to be putting that in our bay window for my plant to sit on. So I found that and then everything else that I got, TJ Maxx, like, decor item wise is for fall so I'm not quite ready to like put the decorations out yet I'm still holding on you know to summer like it is only August but they had uh, quite a few like cute items when I went there the other day so this first one I got for $9.99 is this cute little pumpkin that says grateful and it is Ray Dunn um, I've said before like I do really like Ray Dunn I don't like want my whole entire house to be done in Ray Dunn but especially for like the holidays and stuff I think it's really cute and obviously this is great for fall Thanksgiving so I got this little guy and I actually I have one that's like made on a little stand like this for I think Christmas Valentine's Day and 4th of July so now I have my fall one and then I actually found an another Ray Dunn piece but I thought it was too cute to pass up it is $9.99 as well it's a super cute Halloween sign I don't like, I don't decorate a lot for Halloween. It's mostly fall, but I do, especially in the month of October, I like to put a little bit of Halloween, like specific stuff, but I don't like scary Halloween stuff. Like I don't like anything scary. I'm not about it. I like the cutesy type stuff. So that's why I picked that up because I thought it was super cute. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to sit everything because like I don't have a ton of like shelves up or anything yet. You know, we've only been in the house or like four or five months so I'm not sure where everything's gonna go but I mean it's only ten dollars so I had to pick it up and then I grabbed this for $12.99 this is happy fall y'all I thought it was so cute again I'm not entirely sure this might go on my TV stand or I might put it up like on top of our cabinets in our kitchen it might look really cute up there but I thought that was super cute so I grabbed that and then the last decor item that I grabbed from TJ Maxx. Again, like I just said, I don't like scary stuff. I like super cute stuff. And if you've been here, you might have already caught on that I really, really like Disney. And I could not pass this up when I saw it. This was actually sold in the parks at least last year. I remember seeing it and I almost bought it like off of the Shop Disney website, but I never ended up doing it. And it says compare at 35 and I got it for 20, $24.99. So, I mean, obviously it's not like super cheap, but still a good deal for being, you know, a Disney item. And, you know, it's obviously like a cookie jar. It has a little bit it's taped on still. I'm probably not going to actually like use it as that, at least not anytime soon. Because if the boys like know that there's candy or cookies or anything inside of this, then they're obviously going to want to get into it. And I really don't want them to break it. So I'm just going to be sitting it out as just a Halloween decor piece. But... I thought he was so cute and I was so excited when I saw it because I wanted it last year and I never did it and now I found him this year. So I grabbed that and then the other stuff that I got at TG Maxx, like I said, was just a few like clothing items for the boys. First I found this little pack of Paw Patrol socks. Um, I already cut the tag off of this but I also grabbed a pack of Mickey and Friends for Easton. They were both $3.99. So Paw Patrol for Riker, of course, and then I got these cute, so there's like a Mickey pair. These ones say, oh boy, goofy, 
Um, these ones just have like a little gray Mickey head and then Donald. So four bucks for a few more pairs of socks because all of their old ones, you know, they're getting a little small and they're getting a little worn out. So I grabbed those for them. And then for Riker, I found this really cute Paw Patrol sweatshirt at TJ Maxx and it was only $5.99. So I was really excited for that. Yeah, so I thought that was a really cute sweatshirt for him. He loves it. As soon as he saw it, he wanted to wear it, but you know, it's like still 70, 80 degrees here. So I told him, you know, I have to wait a little bit, but I grabbed that sweatshirt for him. And then I found this Under Armour long sleeves for $9.99 for Riker. Thought that was really cute. Really like the bright coloring on that. So I grabbed that. And then that is all I got for him at TJ Maxx. And the socks are actually the only thing that I got for Easton at TJ Maxx. I don't know, like the last couple of times they haven't had a lot for me to really pick from for Easton size, but yeah, so that is that is everything from TJ Maxx. And then next I'm gonna show what I got from Kohl's. So these are some sweatpants, like kind of like jogger style that I got for Riker. They're originally 20, but I'm pretty sure, I don't know where my receipt went, but I'm, I'm almost positive they were on sale. I usually don't buy anything full price at Kohl's. Like there's like always a sale going on and I had um, $20 Kohl's cash. The main reason I went and like ended up with all of this stuff is because we had family pictures and I had outfits picked out, but I didn't love them. So I decided after I dropped them off at school on the day that we had family pictures later that evening, I decided to go ahead and go to Kohl's while they were at school and see if I could find something better. So this is what I ended up buying now. It is wrinkled because like I need to wash it still. Easton's is in the laundry right now actually, but I got them both. This really simple, cute little shirt, the navy blue sleeves. Cause originally we were gonna all be in just like gray and black and I, I just wasn't happy with that. Obviously this is still gray. And I did buy Aaron a new shirt that he wore as well. Um, I think his is in the laundry too. It's just like a kind of like a charcoal gray heathered gray type shirt if you follow me on Instagram you'll see the family picture soon when I get them back but so yeah so I got both of the boys this shirt and that is what they wore for our family pictures and then okay this shirt it's a fail but it's also a win so I bought this cute Hurley shirt and it's supposed to be for Easton because like you know with the TJ Maxx stuff I found the Under Armour one you know for Riker the sweatshirt found a couple things for him but I didn't really find anything for Easton well I found this and thought it was really cute and he would like it says seven on the hanger and I always check the shirt like you know I find the size on the hanger first because obviously it's easier and quicker but then I always check the shirt to make sure it is that size for whatever reason I did not on this day so this is not a size seven shirt and I don't even know how I didn't realize that when I held it up because it's not very big but Luckily, it's a size four, which is actually Riker size. So I will probably be going back soon to like maybe grab another one. They did have one other design, so I might just grab the other design for Easton and like make sure it is his size this time. So Riker got an extra shirt because mom fail. <laughs> but I mean, at least it ended up being one of my kids size, I guess. And then the last item that I got for Riker, this is actually from Walmart. Um, I don't know here they took I th I'm pretty sure it was only um because it's the Garanimals brand which those are always only like four or five dollars but he saw this dirt bike shirt and of course our kids are obsessed with dirt bikes so he had to have that and it's only a few dollars and it is actually really cute for just being a Garanimal shirt so I got that one for him so that is all for Riker and then, like I said, the shirt with the blue sleeves, Easton has it as well, but it's in the laundry. But they also had it, the gray is just slightly darker on this, and then, you know, the really deep red sleeves, because red is his favorite color, so I figured he would like that one. Because it is getting so hard to find just, like, simple, cute shirts like this for boys. Like, this was literally all I could find in their sizes, were, like, these shirts here. Every single other thing in the store had, like, words or characters, which... On just a normal day-to-day -day basis I don't care about that like that's fine it's cute for them for going to school or whatever but it was so hard <laughs> to find something for family pictures so but I found that one for him because you know like I said red's his favorite color and then I also got him the same like black 
joggers. I got them a bunch of these last year from Kohl's as well, and they really liked them, but you know they're growing out of them a little bit. So I only got them black for right now because anything can match black. I need to like look through their other stuff though and see if they have anything else that could match like the other colors that they have. And then the last thing that I got from Kohl's is actually my shirt that I bought and I wore for our family pictures and it is the Lauren Conrad brand. It was originally like $36 but it was on sale I think for $20 and then like I said I had Kohl's cash so. But this is the shirt that I got, it's really pretty blue, you can see there's kind of like these little like dots sticking out from it all over. Yeah, I was going to originally just get the boys new shirts and I was still just going to have Aaron and I wear our black shirts because the black one I had, it wasn't just like, it was a really pretty shirt. It has like lace sleeves and everything, but I just really didn't want to wear black. And I just happened to see this and this up and see this as I was walking past like the women's section and I thought it was perfect. It's not the exact same shade of blue as like the boys shirts, but like it went good together. It didn't like clash really bad. So yeah, so I got that. So that is all from Kohl's and then I just have few more things from Walmart. So first I grabbed some of these shelves. I have, I only have one right here. Um, I bought two. This is going to go in Aaron and I's bathroom. Well, both of them that I bought are, they're going to go in Aaron and I's bathroom, like above, you know, like our toilet. So we can put like some cute, like decorations and stuff. I, I really like the way that that looks. And I was going to buy six of them so I could have, I want two in all three of our bathrooms because we have two and a half baths. But I, luckily Aaron was home, he was off of work the day that I went and bought this stuff, so I called him, because these are 32 inch long shelves, and he, I had him like measure the wall in all three bathrooms really quick before I put him in my cart, and it's definitely the perfect size for our bathroom, and it's, because I don't want him to go, you know, all the way across, like I want a little bit of space, you know, at the end between like the wall, and so our bathroom, perfect size, and it is the perfect size for the boys bathroom there's a little bit more space at the end of it in ours but it does still work for theirs so i do need to go buy at least two more to put in their bathroom but i can't even like put it straight in our half bath which i kind of figured because like you know it's just a half bath it's more narrow so i need to find some shorter ones and unfortunately like i really like this color and it looks really good with like our flooring and everything in our bathrooms but it only comes at least in the store the 32 inch or 15 inch and 15 inch is way too short so still on the look for that and I think they were like $15 each so I got two of those and then if you see this behind me it's really big I don't know if I can get it all in frame it's this <laughs> like big um, laundry basket it's you know like metal and it's gray with just this nice nice liner in it but I've been wanting a basket like taller like this and like like cute for the boys bathroom because we the whole time we've been living here we've had a basket in there for like you know their bath towels and stuff but it's just our simple basic plastic you know basket and it's the color honestly doesn't look too horrible in there it's like a kind of turquoise-ish type color but I've been wanting something like that and so I found that I think it was like twenty dollars and it looks great in there it matches perfect so I got that for their bathroom and then the last two things I got are actually some more fall decor items. I grabbed this super cute little pumpkin. It was $4.44. It was already the last one there. I mean, they probably will bring more out, maybe, I don't know. But it was the last one there and I thought he was so cute because I could put this on that shelf in our bathroom if I wanted or really anywhere. I mean, it's a perfect size. You can put it anywhere. So I grabbed that and then um, you might have seen it in other videos but like there's a little bit of wall between like where our half bath is and then there's like a coat closet and I have like this windmill sign that says welcome on it it's like the perfect size so that is hanging there and then for Easter I did have like a rectangle sign that said welcome it had like it looks like peeps on it but like the windmill is like my all year round one but I found a fall sign that is like the same size as the Easter one so I knew it was gonna fit there perfect so I grabbed this so when I do all my fall decorating soon, I'm going to swap that out. I'll take the windmill down for the whole time that I have my fall stuff up and I'm gonna hang this up. And this was only $4.98 and this was also the last one of this one. They had a bunch of these signs, but I am a sucker for the little old trucks. They are my favorite. So 
I knew like it was the last one, so I had to grab it. But yeah, so that is gonna do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I'm sure I will have more fall decor hauls coming because now with the boys like being in school, like I really want to go, like I really want to go to Hobby Lobby. I've been trying to do that for the last couple of weeks. So hopefully now like with them being in school, I'll be able to make it there because I do not like taking kids with me in Hobby Lobby. Too many things to, you know, be broken. But yeah, so I'm sure I'll have more fall decor hauls coming and I will for sure do like a decorate with fall with me. I'll probably start decorating at the beginning of September. So in like two weeks. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Comment down below what was your favorite item of everything I showed today. Um, follow me on Instagram because, like I said, the family pictures, I'll be posting those. Um, she usually gets them back to me within like three to four weeks. So stay tuned for that. But that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.